Yud is good, yud is your boy Sam back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be talking about the Inferno set that is coming to NBA 2K24, my team tomorrow specifically in this video. Now if you want a video talking about the rest of season 4 that's going to be a separate video coming about the rewards and some other things, this video specifically on this inferno set now what is this well let's talk about it starting season four with some heat inferno returns with a new reimagining of the theme of and a new format for this release alongside new inferno packs and boxes in the pack market for the next week all inferno player cards can be directly earned via agendas these cards will enter the player market at a later date Complete 10 feats, one for each Inferno player card, and complete the entire agenda a group for Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady. So all of these cards are earnable via the agendas, and the it does look like if you complete all of them, you get Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady. These agendas feature a mixture of single player and multiplayer requirements, with half of the agendas able to be completed entirely in single player Mighty modes including Pink Diamond Curry and AK-47. So, obviously, some of them single player, some of them multiplayer. So, I mean, yeah, even if you don't like playing multiplayer, you can get Pink Diamond Steph and AK for free. For the multiplayer agendas, two can be completed in any multiplayer mode for Diamond players, while the rest look for wins and statistics to be met in specific modes. Inferno features 11 player cards filled with fan favorite picks, including Pink Diamond Steph, AK, Diamond Boncaro, Plus, look for players returning from the first Inferno set in Amy, Brandon Jennings, and DeAndre Ayton, and Pink Diamond T-Mac. For all packs and boxes in the pack market, starting with the Inferno release, Amethyst players already in your collection will no longer trigger a walkout feature. Okay, that really doesn't matter. So the cards coming in tomorrow, you're looking at Amethyst, Jairus Walker, Brandon Jennings, James Jones, DeAndre Ayton, Diamond, Jamal Murray, Tyler Hero, Clyde Drexler, Paolo Boncaro, Pink Diamond, AK, Steph, and T-Mac. Now, you can buy packs uh, for these sets otherwise you have to grind them out now look this is immaculate okay I, I don't even think incredible is the word I want to choose this is immaculate the fact that you can get T-Max, Steph, AK-47, Bon Carroll, Clyde, Hero, Jamal Murray and then all the Amethyst for absolutely free by grinding the agendas so let's say you're just starting your No Money Spent Squad series today. And uh, and again, granted, like all the challenges are just easy enough to do and you don't have to have a certain amount of pink diamonds, anything like that. This is fantastic for the entire game because you can get Steph, T-Mac, and AK all for free, three fantastic pink diamonds. I mean, you cannot ask for anything better out, outside of this. I mean, you really can't. Now, I mean, again, you can open packs, obviously, if you want to for this. But if you're a guy that has always said, you know, buy team and you have to spend a ton of money to have a good game, this is your first set that's like, wow, this is something special. Because even Bon Carroll, as a diamond, can play the small forward position, and he is probably going to be really solid as well. So even for my No Money Spent Squad series, in which I just started, I just got Chet. This is a fantastic addition to your squad because let's say you got Chet. Now you're adding three other pink diamonds that you can grind via the agendas for free. These are the types of things that we need more often in my team. And sure, there's going to be there's going to come a time in my team where you know I yeah absolutely you're going to want to uh, or you're going to have to spend money on 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 the Kobe's on the bronze of the world. But this is fantastic for the no money spent guys, the top grinders out there that are going to get them back in the game. Even for me, you know, it's a great opportunity for me to save my MT, save my money for a week, grind this out, add MT while grinding, get progress in modes for your ultimate rewards, which we will talk about in the other video. But it, it's not like this is coming at the end of the season either. This is coming at the start of the season when people are going to be excited to grind for game modes any, anyways. And now you can get these Inferno sets along the way. This is incredible. Now, the one thing I want you guys to think about is this the rest look for wins and statistics to be met in specific modes so i wouldn't put it past 2k to have like win five unlimited games i'm hoping it's not in a row right because i feel like that's what the gauntlet should be for but i'm hoping everything is attainable 
like, yeah, you're gonna have to win in online mode. So if you're not good at the game, it's probably gonna be really tough to get Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady, and that's something you need to kind of weigh the pros and cons of. Is you know what, Steph and Boncaro, they're all, or Steph and and and, and AK, they're offline modes. So even if you can't get Trace McGrady, but you can get Pink Diamond Steph and Pink Diamond AK. Guess what, guys? When the set eventually down the road is available in the player market, and all you need is, let's say, a Diamond Bond Carroll or Jamal Murray to complete the set, then maybe you guys can lock it in for the T-Mac. But at least you're able to get T-Mac or Steph and AK in offline modes. I think that is super important. I do, I will say, I do expect these agendas to be somewhat of a long grind. I don't expect it to be an easy grind for the Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady. But this is absolute fire absolute heat loading into the game tomorrow knowing you just don't have to spend money day one and that you've got something to grind now again i don't know exactly what the grinds are going to be like and i'm hoping the mode rewards along the way are somewhat decent but the fact of the matter is this is the best content the best set that we have seen in a very long time in 2k it is because it's free all of these players are available via the agendas. And you know what, guess what? Aiden, James Jones, you never know. They could be solid. And even a guy like Diamond Tyler Hero, if he has point guard eligibility, could be good enough to play. This is absolute, absolute fire. And even for the people that don't like grinding, guess what? You can open packs for these infernal players as well if you don't like to grind. And that is a good alternative as well. If you want somebody that's going to hate on this Inferno drop coming tomorrow, I'm not going to be the one to do that. I think this is probably the best content that we have gotten all year long. Maybe in the last two years, this is the best content we've gotten because it's like a hype drop. Like you got Steph, T-Mac, and AK all in one drop, all of them available to get via the agendas. You can't ask for something more out of this. You just can't. This is about as good as it gets. And if anybody wants to hate on the Inferno drop, all I can say is I don't think they really know what they're talking about because it does not get much better than this. It just doesn't. If you're if you're mad at this drop coming tomorrow, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe this is a sign of things to come for 2K. We saw a free chat at the end of season three. The first big drop at the start of season four is all free via the agendas. Is this a kind of change in 2K saying, you know what? We need more people engaged in the game before we start, you know, going crazy with all these pack drops, all that type of stuff. I don't know. I can't necessarily speak for sure on that. Curry, not going to obviously be that great. T-Mac, going to be one of the best shooting guards in the game. AK, going to be one of the best small forwards in the game. Boncaro is going to be incredible at that at the three especially. And then even some of these IAMIs, James Jones, Jairus Walker, DeAndre Ayton, they all could be solid as well. To say I'm excited heading in tomorrow would be a big time understatement. This is absolutely incredible for the My Team mode. I told you guys this is when we start seeing change of six. Season four is when the, the good stuff of my team starts to come. One thing I want to say is if you're committed to grinding this out tomorrow and you have Ron Artest, you have Kawhi, you have any of these shooting guards, even like a Clay, a, a Luca, that you want to sell before they, uh, you know, Luca and Clay don't won't lose their value tomorrow. It'll be another week. But any of those guys that will lose value before tomorrow and you're going to grind this out anyways, I would sell them, maximize your MT that you can get. But this content coming tomorrow absolutely fire absolutely incredible and i know there's a lot of steph fans out there guess what you can get him for absolutely free that's gonna wrap it up for our video today talking about the inferno collection coming tomorrow on my team let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you are doing as always man i love you guys have a blessed day